everybody, it's Tyler here at Vexrolls checking in with 1737W Mechanoids out of Kazakhstan. Awesome team overall, qualifying with some great skills and also the Excellence Award too. So congratulations on all your success here so far. 1737, great robot we'll be talking about. We'll be following some of that uh, journey through the tri-balls as well, but we're gonna be focusing on their lift, their kata, some of their wings as well too, and also talking about some of the code that's gone on this robot. Let's learn more about them here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Kitty, let's start on your robot talking about your uh, base. Tell me more about what you have and then we're going to be covering your wings as well. Sure. Uh, we have six motors. Uh, 450 RPM base. Uh, it is carried at 32, 66 gears to 48. Uh, so uh, we started the season with uh, less quicker robot, uh, but we ended up with the idea that uh, speed is uh, matter uh, in this game. Uh, so we changed it. Uh, also, uh, one detail on our base is slides. Uh, slides help us to uh, overcome the barrier, uh, middle one. And uh, also, I want to talk. talk Tell you about uh, our wings. Uh, it has a locking mechanism. Uh, you might see. Uh, it helps us not only to uh, push tribals uh, over the barrier, but also we can take uh, uh, tribal from match load uh, if you go backwards. Uh, so that is the main feature of our base. Very cool. And I'll tell you, talk to me more about the uh, catapult and the lift mechanism that you yeah, have. Thank you. I would like to say about the catapult that the main uh, idea is, it, is the speed of the catapult. So we use uh, five, uh, 150 RPM for that. Uh, we use uh, uh, one motors and uh, the catapult has two positions, low position. And uh, as you can see, we have the high position. If someone is trying to block us, we can use the high position of the catapult. And uh, if not, uh, we can use the basic one. Uh, the next thing that I would like to talk about is, is, is our lift. Our lift is uh, using two pistons that is uh, using from the ratchet. So uh, when the robot is coming to the end of the game, uh, we are going to lift and uh, by the power of the rubber bands and the, our blocking mechanism, at the end of the game, robots could uh, go up and like this. I want to ask you, uh, in matches here, playing, uh, I know your team's been really good at skills. Uh, do you find yourself still using the catapult in a match, or are you typically bowling during a match? Uh, it depends on the uh, the game, because uh, if we had a good alliance and uh, hard enemies, we would like to use the catapult, because it's, uh, uh, how to say, like a surely strategy, like we would like to use since the uh, start of the season. It's mostly easier to pass the tribal to us, teammate and he could score but if the teammate is pretty pretty good and the alliance is bad uh, we can we could use a tribal uh, tactic like a put from here tribal and the go to the another part of the field. oh awesome to hear that you have that good versatility on this as well Armand talk to me more about the code that goes into this robot as well too uh, anything uh, that you might have made changes for coming in the world championship too uh, yes, of course. About the program, uh, for the programming we use the odometry. We have uh, multiple programs for uh, different situations, for skills, for if we are playing on the further or closer side. Uh, that is the code. Yes. Uh, then we've uh, we've definitely changed our strategy for the programming. Uh, when we came to with the worlds, uh, right now our program could score about uh, three trivals to the. Uh, Furthest, uh, furthest side and uh, two tribals to the near side with the AWP, well, yeah, with our part of the AWP. That's it. So looking at uh, from code on here, coming to the championships, was there anything else that you're like, hey, this is something if we could have done, we would have liked to do, but maybe you didn't get an opportunity to? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I could have, uh, we could have improved our uh, program by uh, 
spending more time on uh, editing the skills. Uh, we could have uh, changed our uh, skills program by uh, going to the left side and then scoring the tribals that are on our side of the field. And that would definitely give us much more tribals. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Otto, Sean, talk to me more about on your general design philosophy. I really want to hear, uh, as you went through the over-under season, uh, how did you approach it from a design standpoint and any big changes you made from design? Sure. So from the beginning of the season, we had like a low robot. We only had like a catapult. And then during the another during the season, we started to use intake. We like we used intake on the rubber bands. And then we came to the final final stage, like we using the flex wheels. And I would say that during the design process, we use priority. Like we're asking every team, uh, every teammate of our team, like for the programmer, it's essential to have multifunctional solutions so he can use it both to the uh, to the skills to the during the match. So it's, for him, it's essential. For another, uh, for another people, for them, it's essential to use like comfort for the driver and for the building. For the builders, it's essential to use that idea that will be stable and uh, without breakage or any other thing that's and uh, i would say that priority is always essential for us and uh, for, for us it's also essential to create criteria and based on them we made our decision and uh, i would say that during the design uh, during design we use different things and resources like we started to use two pneumatics we started to use uh central like gyroscope it's based on here so it sells a lot to our skills uh, during the match a lot. So I would say that we try different things, styles and different resources. Last thing I got to ask you here, what's been your favorite thing that you've experienced so far here at Bex Worlds? First of all, I like the opportunities. I like the communication. Like every time I can meet, I can meet new trainers, new teammates. I, I can make friends and make, make a lot of new uh, new friendship with everyone. And I like that experience. Absolutely. Well, Mechanoids, good luck here at Worlds. Thank you so much for telling us more about your team. It's been great to learn more about it. We wish you best of luck all the way through, but congratulations on a great season and good luck here at Vex Worlds. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.